Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of I've Never Liked You with me, Mateo Lane, and my friend of me, Nick Smith. And we do 15 minute episodes where we talk about one topic, and today's topic is Pokemon. Okay, Pokemon. You're now familiar with Pokemon. This is a Pokemon, but I'm dressed like a Pokemon trainer. In which theme trainer? For today. What gym? Misty. I mean, I'm clearly Misty. <laughs> she's a bitch. <laughs> I don't think Misty's a bitch. I just think she's the only one with a set, like a real head on her shoulders. Brock is like a horny, horny. horny. Also, a lot of me too. Brock tuning. would fuck a hole in a tree if he could. Brock has fucked a hole in a tree because he hasn't gotten a girlfriend, so he's off fucking you know, Venipod or whatever. And Ash might as well be played by Rosie O'Donnell. Okay, Ash <laughs> is the worst trainer on the face. Ash worst. is a complete. Wait, why don't you quickly explain to everybody why you're we're talking about Pokemon? So I've recently started to get into Pokemon and my boyfriend decided to start showing me the cartoon episodes because I never watched as a kid. My brother did. So season one, you I started did. from I'm the beginning. I'm starting season one. Yeah. I've made it about 50 episodes through and there's so 870 seen episodes. No, you've seen it. Let's just break it down. Ash, thoughts? The luckiest trainer there is. He has yeah. no skill. No. He just he lucks into everything. He doesn't listen to anybody. No, no one respects. He doesn't him. listen to anybody. No one respects. He doesn't respect himself. No, it, well, his Pokemon don't respect him. His mother I don't doesn't respect, respect him. him. I don't respect him either. And I hate his voice. Like, oh God, Pikachu! <laughs> Every city they go to, they're like, you have to train. <laughs> But he's like, like you're no. called a trainer, so train. Yeah, I've, uh, to me, when all the gym badges, like they're like, well, because you helped the flood, here's a gym badge. Literally. It's like, well, this is giving him a false sense of confidence because he's going to be going to the Elite Four completely unprepared. And then he does go to the Elite Four completely. Un Gary actually is doing it right. Gary trains his animals. By the way, I love the irony of them being like, well, you know, we it's about loving your Pokemon. You're still sending them into battle to near death. So right. what's the difference? At well, this unless point? you're fucking the Pokemon, g come on. And I think Brock is very well could be. I actually think Brock and Misty are. You fucking? know, I, I think he's playing with her Pikachu, <laughs> if you will. I don't get much sexual tension from either one of them. I do think that Misty's my I favorite do. character because she's the, she's. She's coming off bitchy, but really she's dealing with two complete idiots. <laughs> Absolutely. She's the only one with common sense or any sense, really. I don't actually think that they're any better than Jesse and James. By the way, oh, Jesse and James. Oh. We I, I, are Jesse and James. And I'm Jesse. And you're, no, you, I'm James. You're Jesse. 100%. James. <laughs> Team Rocket blasting off again. Although I will say I don't like Meow. Meowth. You've been 50 Meowth. episodes in. Meowth is in every I know, single I episode, like including episodes where Meowth realizes, I'm the only one that talks and the other Meowths don't talk. <laughs> what that is weird that Meowth, it's a Japanese animated show that was adopted into American television, redubbed and re-edited, and they were going over the voice and they looked at Meowth and thought, Meowth can talk. He should probably be like some Dago from Brooklyn. Hey, my name is Meowth. I like to gamble. I mean, none of the voices really make sense, but... Misty... Misty makes sense. I mean, they all kind of no, make Ash sense. No, Ash doesn't. We well, grew up, but... I, I think Ash was done by a, a, an adult woman so, be, so that the voice wouldn't change. Aren't they all done by adult women? No, Brock's not done. Je Brock, Jesse... Well, uh, or Brock, James, Meowth. I just don't like Meowth. I don't. Uh, Meowth is a little frustrated, but do you like Jesse and James? Of course. I mean, if you're gay, you can't not like them. They are kind of, I mean, they're definitely gay icons, right? And I'm going to say a controversial statement. I don't like Pikachu. Why? I don't. Well, here's another problem with my, my problem me. with I Ash. I don't like Pikachu. Here's the thing. Ash never evolved his Pikachu into a Raichu. I like Raichu better than well, Ash. Well, no, he was going to. No, Pikachu. he's not a good trainer. He, he's like, he's like, oh, I don't know what to do. And then Pikachu's like hemming and hawing over the Thunderstone. Pikachu the didn't thunder want to stone. evolve. And that's why it was like, no. At the end of the day, you're a pet, not your choice. <laughs> well, the whole thing is I mean, I know up. your is body, like, your choice, but not in Pokemon. No. The Pokemon really have a, the, the Pokemon have a bad deal. They're literally out there minding their own business. People come, kidnap them, take them from their friends and family, force them into balls for 95% of the Ash. day. Right. And then you attack them. Ash goes out, sees a Pokemon, 
still after 872 episodes doesn't learn that he has to defeat the Pokemon to capture it, just throws a ball at it and every Pokemon's like, what the fuck? You're is a this? fucking idiot. <laughs> well, Charizard doesn't respect him either. This is, it's a. No one does. Yeah. How, so did you, you didn't get to when he gets the elite four. I haven't gotten that far now. So where is he? I don't. Vermilion they, City. Honestly, they blend together at this point. Every background is the same. Every city every looks the same. Every place. Every is episode the same. has. Every the, guest star has the same voice, just with yes. a different inflection. Jesse and James have the same plot every episode. There's, there's really no, yeah. But see, I grew up playing the games. I played Pokemon Red, Yellow, Blue, Crystal Gold, Silver. Like you didn't play any of the games. No. Did you have any of the cards? I was cool. So that's also just not say things that we can't take back. You were not cool. Oh, I was. No, you weren't. You were cool. I was such a loser in high school. I was yep. made fun of and daily. And you're still a loser. That, yeah, I am, I am Ash. Wait, were you really popular in high school? Yes. Was I necessarily super nice to people? No. You've never but been nice to people. But I've been nice to people now, and they still like me for some reason. What I happened? Know what it is. What happened to that story I think with, like... people like my bluntness. What happened to the... Some, not after that Mexican candy video. Um, what... <laughs> Jesus, Nick. What, what happened when that Dean... How much time do we have, Chris? Eight and a half. Okay, so we have eight and a half minutes left, or it's been eight and a half minutes? Can you tell the story about the Dean? This is kind of... You are like a... Uh, which story the story that that woman said well nick spoke to me this way and then you like yelled it was it something about your dean in high school or college or like your maybe like your room uh, dorm in college in college so, so in this college, so nick's always been this way so in college i was an ra and i was the head ra and at one point this kid i went to a music school and everyone sort of there are practice rooms on every floor and this kid my neighbor was playing his flute and I went and checked, and all the practice rooms were empty. So I went and knocked at the door, and I said, hey, don't play in your room. It's loud. There are people trying to relax. Go to the practice rooms. I've already checked, and they're empty. So he, like, shut the door, and he went to the practice room. I didn't think anything of it. Later on, someone knocked on my door who speaks French, and they're like, did you see the note on so-and-so's door? And I was like, no. And they were like, he wrote six different notes in six different languages, and the one was in French, and I translated it, and you should probably go confiscate them. They're not good. And I was like, what are you talking about? And in the note, proceeds to threaten me, threaten my mother, threaten my boyfriend at the time, hated me, wanted to kill me and everyone close to me. Well, so I presented it to the director of residence life and the dean of students and all of this. And their solution, as most colleges don't know how to handle anything, was to just move him to a different floor. Because he couldn't kill me if he lived on a different floor, apparently. Right. He didn't want to walk up the extra floor. So I Trust me, he hated you. So if he wrote six different notes in six different languages, this man was ready to walk up 1,500 and floors And we shared a communal you. bathroom. He would have fucking, what's that movie with the knife? Had you ever spoken to him before? I mean, in passing, but like right. we weren't friends. So anyways, I went and talked to the dean of students after they said that, that they were just moving him up a few floors. And I went to her and I said... Hi, you know, uh, I'm a little concerned that he's only moving up a few floors. My mom comes and visits, my ex comes and visits. And he very explicitly in all of these letters said that he wanted to kill me and my mom and ex. And she goes, this is the dean of students, goes, do you know how many death threats I get? And I wish I could tell my mom, it's time to grow up and maybe don't involve your mom in things. So at that point, <laughs> she was dead to me. So I was the head RA and I was handling the budget and I got a free meal plan and the cafeteria workers claimed that I was stealing. I don't know how I steal if I was given the food and drinks Why for was free. everyone coming for you? I don't know. Well, actually, so, I do know. I hang out with you You'll all actually the time. find this funny. The cafeteria workers didn't know who I was and they said, the professor with the purse. <laughs> Fitting. So she, instead of approaching me, approaches my boss because she knew I handled the budget for the entire RA staff and said, he handles the money and he's stealing from this school. He shouldn't do that. And I said, do you really think, A, I was stealing when I have a free meal plan and B, that I would steal from the school, please? So then every time I saw her in true me fashion, we could be the only two in the hallway. She'd say, hi, Nick. And I'd go, <laughs> And keep walking. I have nothing to say to this bitch. Right. I have nothing to say to her. 
Cut to my boss calls me in and said, the dean, um, she she spoke to me because it really bothers her that you don't say hi to her or anything. And um, she feels- Why is this adult woman trying to seek your approval? Literally. I was like, I'm 20 years old. This bitch needs to get a life. (laughs) How about that? (laughs) Cut to a year later, I got her ass fired. (laughs) Wait, what was the thing when you when you finally said hi to her? Remember, you like, yelled at her. Oh yes. Well, finally, after I was spoken to, and it just riled me up even more. Again, we were in passing or something. She was like, "Hi, Nick," and I said, "Hi." You can tell them I said hi now. You can tell them I said. Wait, how she you- never said hi to me again. And then a year later, we got a new president who's gay, and I became chummy with, talked shit about her, and she all of a sudden had to retire. <laughs> you are a Disney villain. Okay. She's a, who said my best friend in college's father died. She took a semester off, came back, but she st- still did all of her work from home. Came back, but this, they screwed up or something and she had to do an extra semester. And this dean said to her, A lot of kids' parents die. <gasps> they don't take an entire semester off. So, no, I don't feel bad that she lost her job. And if you're listening, I don't feel bad. Imagine she's your number one fan. Wait, how much time <laughs> do we have left fan. now? So we have three minutes and 45 seconds left. Okay. If and you- if she was a Pokemon, she looked like, uh, what's the little, uh, oh, fucking That's Christ. all of them. <laughs> one of, one of Ash's three and has the vine whips. Bulbasaur? And Bulbasaur. Evolved. V- Ivysaur or Venusaur? Venusaur. That's what she looks like to I tie always, in Pokemon. I always went with Squirtle. Squirtle! Okay, if you had to be you a Pokemon a trainer, what kind of Pokemon would you raise? Who are your favorite Pokemon? You um, have to make a team, a team of six. I think I would do not water. Because if, if you're not near water, I feel like it's not that effective. I mean, Starmie's my favorite Pokemon. Uh, Anyway. Why is that funny? Of course it is. Do you know who Star Me is? Not Star You. The Hua. Mine's Star Me. Like with like like the jewel. The big it's purple. Yeah, no, I Misty know. Misty has her. No, I yeah. Star Me was cool because she was also okay. psychic. Yeah. But she's psychic and water. So she was like, like a powerhouse. And her I would speed want was really psychic high. Psychic and maybe rock. You haven't even gotten a Mewtwo yet. I watched the movie. The movie's atrocious. The movie what? is re- the movie's really oh, I bad. I kind of liked the movie. I hate the movie. The movie's really bad. It was just like verbose Mewtwo, and then like him and Mew's fights were stupid. It didn't even make sense. I don't understand Pokemon cards, and my boyfriend plays a little like game on his phone where he battles people with cards and stuff. It, Why doesn't he just play the like actual Pokemon game? Like no, he did that and, already. But blue. this is like a little. I don't know. It's interactive. It doesn't make sense to me, and I won't get into that. So it's like the gay version of fantasy football? Kind of. You're like, my husband plays fantasy Pokemon. Exactly. He's, tra- who, he's trading in the in-season, off-season. Yeah, I would do Psychic and like the Rock ones. The Rock ones? Yeah, I feel like they're kind of strong. I would do Water, Electric. Water and Electric. And Fire. Oh, electric is good. Arcanine, Arcanine, I don't know how to say their name. Zapdos, or like, I guess Electabuzz. I just can't remember any of their names. Like, at the end of every episode, they're like, all right, guys, today we're quoting 20 names. And by the end of the week, you got to listen to all five. It's the Pokemon rap. Remember, who's that Pokemon? I have watched 50 episodes. I I can only tell. Oh, that's the last episode I watched. Jigglypuff. And it pissed me off because I thought of you the whole time. I think of Monet. Wait, how much time do we have? Okay, we have one minute left. Anything else you want to say? Um, Pokemon, are you going to continue watching it? I'll continue watching it. It's an easy, like, Saturday morning Would you consider playing the game? If I gave you a Game Boy and no. I gave you... Come on, if I gave you I'm a Game Boy... I'm not doing the game. I'm not that involved. I don't like it that much. I just don't. Would you watch Avatar The Last Airbender? What's that? It's a cartoon show. It's only three seasons. How... Huh. What's it's, it about? It's on Netflix. It's like about like a, it's like the fifth element, but in. I'll consider it. Well. 
In our last few seconds, what's your final remark on Pokemon? I love Pokemon, but the last game was so atrocious that the Pokemon company should be absolutely ashamed of themselves. And Nintendo, you should 100% step in and take control of those games because it's pathetic that you sent out a game way too quickly that sucks, it's boring, and the graphics look like Nintendo 64. Meanwhile... Zelda Tears of the Kingdom looks fucking unbelievable. So there's and also Pokemon as a franchise makes more money than Disney. So why don't you have the money to put in to make the video game look good? They like bamboozled the people and don't respect people that they sell to. Okay, that's our episode. This has been another episode of I've Never Liked You with Mateo Lane and Nick Smith. Thank you for listening and watching. And you can listen anywhere you get podcasts and you can watch on YouTube. Until next time.